Hi, I'm Tracy Milady. Welcome to my little urban workshop. Have you ever noticed when you're using a scraper that you get lots of dig-ins and catches? You probably need to have a negative rake scraper. That will avoid a lot of the dig-ins and catches and it will also make your scraper less aggressive. What is a negative rake scraper? It's a conventional scraper with a second bevel put on the top of it. So you've got a small bevel on the top and a large bevel on the bottom. Now I was taught that when you're using a scraper, you always raise the handle and that creates a, a downward angle. So less catches and, uh, and cuts. What was happening to a lot of people is that they weren't raising the handle and you get very nasty accidents happening. So a negative rake scraper solves that problem. A lot of wood turners these days are making things out of resin and acrylics as well. And the negative rake scrapers or cutters are great for when you're working with man-made materials. But they were originally designed to use on wood. And you'll find that when you're finishing off a really difficult piece of wood, the negative rake will be your best friend. One advantage of the Easy Wood Tools negative cutters is that they go onto the existing tools. So all you need to do is have the one finishing tool or roughing tool, for instance, and have the different cutters to match. And then you've basically got two tools in one, which means you don't have to adapt your scrapers. So you can leave your scrapers alone, use the negative rate cutters, and uh, you can use your scrapers then for more aggressive cuts. Another advantage of using the replaceable negative rate cutters is that you're not going off to the grinder and sharpening the, the bevels. So all I need to do is rotate. I don't need to go off and waste time on the grinder. When would you use a negative rate tool? At the very end of the project. It's used as a finisher, not a cutter. So it's not going to remove a lot of wood quickly, but it will smooth out any ridges or tear outs or end grain that you have. I have a little bit of red gum burl on the lathe. I'll get that to a point where I can demonstrate the finishing using the negative rate cutter. This little red gum burl is just going to be a little um, nut bowl or olive bowl. So I'm going to keep it nice and thick. I have just hollowed out the bowl. This tool got rid of a lot of wood fairly quickly, but it's a little rough. So this is a perfect opportunity to show you how to use the negative rate cutter. Firstly, let's have a go at finishing the bowl section using a conventional scraper. This isn't a negative scraper but I'm going to raise the handle and put it on an angle and I'll also use a shear scraping technique and we'll have a look at the finish. You can see how fine the shavings are that I got off the scraper and I've actually got a really good finish on the inside of that bowl. I think I can do better with the negative rate cutter. I've put the negative rake cutter on my tool rest. I've put it in the bowl. I can see that the tool rest is too high, so I need to adjust that down to ensure that the cutter is center of the bowl. Well, 
Now, look again, I've got beautiful, fine little shavings off that bowl and it's really lovely on the inside. I use the Easy Wood Negative Rate Cutter on the finisher tool and finished off the bowl beautifully. I'm going to change tools. I'm going to pick up the Negative Rake Square Cutter to do the rim of the bowl. We'll see how we go. So I'm going to put in the CI1 cutter, obviously, onto the CI1 tool. Now that's done, I'm really happy with the finish, both in the bowl and on the rim. I've used the Easy Wood finishing tool with the negative rate cutter on the tip to do the bowl. And then I use the Easy Wood negative rate cutter on the roughing tool. Easy Wood tools bring out the negative rate cutters in two different shapes and three different sizes, which will accommodate six different tools all up. So that's it. That's what negative rake is all about. It's not a cutting tool, it's a finishing tool. It's not going to take away a mass amount of timber, but you use it if you want to get a really nice finish, especially on hardwoods, dense wood, end grain, man-made materials, if you use them. And I think you'll find that you get a really superior finish. If you're familiar with easy wood tools, you'll know Keep the tool parallel to the floor, the bar flat on the tool rest and the cutter in the centre of the work. If you do that, you'll always be okay and you'll produce great work. If you'd like any further information on the Easy Wood Tools, just click on the link below and um, please subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Tracy Milady. Thanks for watching. So now can I sand? You can sand now. Thank you. Do not struggle, how dare you! Sorry. I thought you meant like getting rid of the wood. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> but the look on your face. <laughs> I thought she struggled. Okay. That's princess. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, All right. Yes, I did. So. <laughs>